Are we on? We're on. Hi everyone. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're keeping safe and taking care of yourself. Um, I am back with another fragrance video. Uh, ever since I started filming fragrance videos or scents or things like that, I get a lot of questions on how do you start a collection? How did you build your collection? How did you you know, end up with all these fragrances? How do you choose fragrances? And so I thought it would be a bit helpful if I just did a short and sweet and quick to the point video on what to look for when you're starting a collection. This of course is not the alpha and omega of how to start a collection, but I think that there, there is something noteworthy here uh, when you're making decisions to buy a fragrance or even start a collection. Disclaimer, perfume buying is an addiction, okay? Once you get in, you're stuck. There'll always be a scent that you get away for and you're like, I need that in my life. Or you'll say, I'm never buying this scent again. And then you smell it somewhere and you just, boom, go and buy it again. There's nostalgia. There's emotional attachment. There is, yes. But also, there's a lot of love. Um, scents remind me of places I've been, people I've met, and... I, I mean, it's it. Sometimes it's even just it, it. It's how I feel. It's my personality. It's my persona. So there's a lot of weight to perfumes for me. It's not just ah uh, another thing I buy. They're really my identities, in some some form. Yeah, I have broken the process down to five categories that you can look into when you're buying fragrances and if it checks those boxes then you're on the right track to building your collection of course you can make this as broad or you can reduce it to just what you think works for you but i've done five all right let's get into it the first category is classics uh as a collector i believe you will need to have some good classics in your arsenal so who other is more iconic and classic than the Coco Chanel number no. five? This perfume, I have it here. So all the fragrances I'll be mentioning, I have them, I own them, I have worn them. Hence, I'm recommending them. Number five is arguably the world's fastest selling fragrance. I think they've sold or rather they sell a bottle every second correct me if i'm wrong but this fly off the shelf this was created in the early 1920s by coco chanel and it is an iconic fragrance when she created this she wanted this to be for the new modern woman and it holds true to date I love this fragrance. You can never go wrong with this fragrance. It is not offensive to anyone. You actually feel elegant when you wear this. As I said, fragrance gives me persona and when I wear this, I just feel prim and proper and just upright and yes, there's something to be said about number five. So if you're starting a collection, please start with this scent. What does it smell like? It's a floral oriental scent. It has a note called aldehyde, which to some is like metallic -y. It's like a metallic -y scent, if you can smell metal. But to me, it's there's a cleanliness there. There's a, I mean, it's for the discerning nose, darling. This is truly iconic. I love this scent. Another one that I'm going to put in the classics, and I might get hammered in the comment section for this one, is, boom, I am so biased. This is... Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Cajun. What can I say? Oh my god, this fragrance is good. This fragrance is just pure. It's just a treasure. It's so good. Oh my god. It's sweet and spicy. It has earthy notes of cedar and ambergris. Ambergris, if you know what it is, <laughs> you're gonna be so shocked. So ambergris is a waxy grayish substance that is secreted in the intestines of a sperm whale. So basically bile. 
and the whales throw this stuff up and then it's collected in the tropical sea and it's in here mm -hmm. and i'm sure it's expensive to harvest that's why the price is um, what it is but this is true i have worn this i have worn this thing i need to stop because girl oof yes it's i've gone through this bottle like just like that and um, i'm now just sparingly wearing it if i'm wearing mfk and i'm coming to meet you you're important in my life okay i hold you like right here <laughs> But Baccarat Rouge is truly, it's, you have to smell it. You have to smell this scent to understand what I mean. You will fall in love. You will fall in love, guaranteed. I will leave all the fragrances I'm mentioning in the caption so you can just, for reference, go back and check. And as always, if you're looking to buy original, unique fragrances in Kenya, look no further, Sierra Perfumes got you. That's my plug and the guy, Tony, Tell him Nelly sent you. You guys have used my name so many times to get a discount, but gang gang, we're family. So yes, Sierra Perfumes for any of these scents. And it's not just your typical fragrances. These are unique scents. You, you'll be the only one who just smells like this. You'll be the only one who just shines when it comes to scents, darling. The next category is the fresh category. And I only have one scent for this one. And this is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I have the Intense version i first got a whiff of this scent from none other than angel lately hey girl she is the queen of fragrances if you haven't followed her please go and check her out she is just the goddess of perfume and i first got a, a whiff of this scent from her we were meeting for breakfast and she was just smelling like a freshly squeezed lemon a nice juicy zingy Oh my god it was just a bust of freshness and not just fresh like flowers no fresh like citrusy so the notes on this beauty there's bamboo there's jasmine there's of course lemon there's sicilian lemon and there's apple so it's a very fresh fruity mm, citrusy juicy scent it's like a mojito on a warm day that's what this is love it the next category is sexy. These are fragrances that you don't want to waste by wearing them in the office. You want to wear these ones when you're going on a date with your man, or when you're on the prowl, or when you're just going to Soboa and Chocosa. This is the one. This is what you wear. So my first one. Oh, 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 oh. Jo Malone Velvet Rose Oud Cologne Intense. Um, I have a few of their... Oh my God. I have a few of their scents and the longevity in the other ones the ones that don't contain the black uh, bottle is different from this one this one the longevity it's a beast and i also must mention the longevity on uh mfk baccarat rouge is also top notch it lasts and lasts forever even when you launder your clothes baccarat rouge still smells so it's worth the price it's worth it you don't have to wear you don't have to use too much it's worth it Anyway, back to sexy. Velvet Rose Oud smells like, oh my God, like sex in a bottle. I mean, I'm a big fan of Oud, especially on men. Like Tom Ford have Oud Wood. Woo -wee. That one just takes me, that one just takes me out. It just takes me out. Oud Wood just smells so good i don't own it but i should right i think it's a unisex scent but it's a bit heavy so i find it very masculine so a man wearing wood wood damn anyway um velvet rosewood see how i get sidetracked when i start talking about perfume velvet rose um wood cologne intense is as i said it's so sexy it's very bold it's a woman in uh, leather filling herself red lipstick tight slick ponytail she's just like man eater Rawr. it's warm and it's spicy and it smells like chocolate like rich chocolate and you know chocolate is an aphrodisiac maybe that's why but it there's a chocolatey sweet scent which is not sweet sweet but it's like spicy sweet i don't know if i'm you're getting it 
but this has that this is magic elixir it is so sexy definitely nighttime and if during the day on a very cold 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 day you'll get away with this one another one that's sexy but very opposite to this sexy is parfum de Mali delina delina see the bottle is just a cute pink bottle that looks very you know you know harmless this it smells like a good girl who can be very naughty very naughty this scent is so beautiful it's very rich it's intense and um, it has notes of rose and peonies but there's much more to it uh, it smells like smisha soft it smells like soft life like a sweet addiction that's what it smells like to hell with the notes it smells like a sweet addiction like you're a spoiled little girl and and it's fine and people have accepted that and they treat you as such it's so sexy and alluring and it's it's i love it it's another one that lasts and lasts and lasts i have blazers that i've sprayed this on i take them to dry cleaner they come back they still smell like this my soft it's such a sexy scent parfum de mali delina the next category is signature signature scents and this is a very important one because this is ultimately your persona this is your personality in a bottle so are you bold are you daring are you fun are you you know uh wound up too tight are you you know it is literally your persona in perfume and so i would if i were you i'd take time with this one so it's a good place to explore uh because it will ultimately be nelly was here for fragrance you know so i have a few suggestions mine has changed over the years it's there's a time where it was um narciso rodriguez um there's a time it was um what do you call this one poison by dior that time it was jador by dior so it changes with my different stages in life let's just say so with the signature scent um find a fragrance that replicates you and your personality and you'll be good to go so my recommendation this is a new one guys i am obsessed this juice the juice in this one this is ysl libre okay so ysl themselves describe this as a reinvention on floral scents and i see that because it's supposed to be a floral scent but at the same time it's very sultry and juicy like fruity so it's supposed to be a floral scent but i smell tangerine or orange in this one so there's a warmth mixed with the fresh it smells like i've showered but i'm also mm, i'm clean and warm at the same time this has been a fragrance that i have worn back to back to back since i got it i, I got it two weeks ago and i've worn it every single day it lasts the whole day you don't need a top up it's warm and fun and fresh and just a, a spritz of zinginess because of the orange i smell some orange some orange or tangerine or a citrus fruit in here it's so deliciously mm, good i love this one another scent that is a good signature a recommendation is twilly de Hermes. so twilly doesn't come like this it comes with an actual twilly here like a bow i took mine off and i wear it as a wristlet you can do that as well Amez referred to this scent as the scent of the Amez girl which i agree it's fun at the same time it's 
it's it's exotic it smells like um there's a peppery note there's a peppery smell it could be the ginger there's a spicy smell that's it spice it's a spicy note it could be the ginger i wear this day night summer cold days it doesn't really matter this one will come through all the time it is a well worth indulgence my last category is the simple i don't offend anyone i come in peace i'm not making any statements i'm just chill and zen i am just not causing any problems this is my last one because many people fear sense um they're like you know i have allergies or this is too bold or this is irritating if you are that kind of person and are afraid to try out scents because you're you're thinking they'll be overwhelming i have two scents that you should try okay tiffany by tiffany so this is tiffany intense and of course from the packaging you can just see it has the iconic diamond cut design by tiffany um it's i really have to reach to find the scent because i've been smelling some really heavy heaters it's soft spoken she's quiet um spicy it also has that peppery peppery undertone i think it has pink peppercorns it has iris which is a very soft floral scent and it's just a beautiful understated work of art tiffany intense by tiffany is something i think every woman would not only appreciate but stand out in it's very very feminine it's very soft you can see i've used quite a bit i i love it once i start wearing it i can't stop because yeah it's gentle i like that it's very gentle it could smell like a fabric softener yes it's that soft this one next beauty in my simple category is chloe by chloe um i got this one from sierra perfumes as a pack and look out for those packs sierra have them a lot and when i see them i do not let them go because they're very hard to come by so it was this big bottle of chloe a miniature bottle of chloe a body wash and a body lotion so that's a sweet deal oh yes this one i've gotten a lot of compliments on um it has a note that i really love in fragrances and that's lychee this baby it travels and it's not offensive it just like hits everyone's nose in such a delicate soft manner that they can't help themselves to just come and say you smell really nice say ah oh, thanks you know <laughs> small small it is such a beauty it is lightweight it is very romantic it smells really romantic and it just reminds me of like sun-kissed meadows it's just beautiful beautiful rose and peony and this is the last one in my category um again i'm gonna leave every fragrance i have mentioned in the caption and of course sierra perfumes is where you need to go for all your unique scents at the best prices and they sell nothing but original all right thank you so much for watching this igtv give this video a thumbs up and comment which one of these fragrances you like if you've tried them okay all right